<laughs> hey Mare, how you doing? Uh, I just have to take care of something here. Be on in a sec. Turn this down. Hopefully this will all work for okay. This is the first time I'm doing a, a stream using the switch. Uh, I tried it a bit last night and it all worked okay. I'm glad the uh, you're getting used to the meds, Mare. It's always a pain in the ass getting used to new medication. I've been there, done that. It uh, it sucks, but there's uh, not really a huge amount we can do about it. Let's switch over to this. There we go. <laughs> this looks fucking ridiculous. I love it. Uh, yeah, we're going to play some Animal Crossing, uh, the theme of which is, of course, being on your own holiday vacation, so we're rocking with that. 
Uh, so let's go. Uh, let me turn off this music. You can't see my face, man. Just about. Now, you've actually probably never seen my face here, have you? There's my eyes. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, and of course, you can see. Usually, for regular viewers, they know that my uh, camera is a bit better on this. But the reason why it's switched like this is because it looks like this. Oh my god, this looks so good. Uh, if I flick this, I can actually see the game, which I kind of need to do. Right, it's kind of important. Uh, there we go. Sweet, I can actually see the game, which is super important. Seen it before? It's not often. Yeah, no, that, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, today we're playing some Animal Crossing. I don't know if you've played this mirror or if you even have a Switch. You might do. You might not. And of course, with it being a new game, audio levels are probably a bit weird. But um, if I'm too loud or the game's too quiet, just shit. Uh, but yeah, let's go. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the island, see how things are shaping up. Um, yeah, should be interesting. Because you have the AC is Stardew. Stardew is fantastic. I think I have like 200 hours on that now, which is not bad. Um, just a job. Yeah, I could do a Stardew stream sometime there. I never really did the multiplayer much. Um, I hit the solo campaign stuff, got as far as the third year, had unlocked most of the stuff. Uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, this is Isabel. She's working in the uh, resident services. Uh, name of the uh, when you like first start the game, you have to give it a, uh, a name uh, for your island, which is where everything takes place. Uh, so quite originally, I put it as Danland, uh, pronounced like Finland, kind of. I thought it was all right. Uh, I was not feeling inspired at the time, so there we go. Isabel just being like, "Yo, there's no news." That's cool, Isabel. Aren't you great? Maybe into the island. Uh, yeah, Stardew is a great game. Littlewood was another one I played a bunch of, Mary. You probably loved that. Um, it's more pixel graphic -y style and less of an emphasis just on the farming side of things, but uh, it's pretty cool. And so here I am. I'm going to get some bells after doing some selling of stuff last night. 30 Gs, pretty good, pretty good. Nice. All right, let's see what we got in the post. So I bought a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm curious if I can use this bike. I probably can't. Wasn't too sure. And yeah, the premise of this, this game is you basically start on an island. You've nothing here. Uh, Tom Nook offers you a whole bunch of shit. Uh, puts you in debt so you can buy your own house and buy houses for villagers and have them drop by. Uh, you have an airport, which is basically all the way down here. And this is kind of like the starting point of the island. Uh, you can join other people's islands and stuff from here. So it's a good access point. Hey, Bronze, good to see you, dude. Hope you're keeping well this weekend. Yeah, we're on holidays, man. You gotta, you gotta relax. Have you ever tried Immune Base? It's created and updated. I think you mentioned this before, man. Did did you only play it on stream? I remember you mentioning it during one of the streams. Uh, but yeah, I give a quick tour of the island. So this is the entry point. Uh, resident services is kind of like the the starting point for everyone in the game. Uh, it starts out as a tent, but now it's built up a little bit more. A uh, little notice board here, you sometimes get messages, but there's uh, nothing there at the moment. Uh, this is Olaf, one of the villagers. He's, uh, he's a bit fancy, but uh, yeah, he's, he's all right. He's all right. She's enjoying some spring. It's pretty good. Uh, this is Mabel. She shows up sometimes to sell clothes. Uh, very much like Sonic the Hedgehog. Probably his wife. What we got going on? Uh, another cool thing with this is that like it's pretty gender fluid, so like it, you can reassign gender if you want. But like as a guy, you can wear this shit too. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so I think that that's pretty cool of them to do. I have nothing there I'm really liking. It's only five bucks. Damn son. I'll uh, I'll have to check that out. Uh, yeah. So over here we have a couple of the first uh, villagers' homes on the island. Here's a little shop. We'll pop in here. Unlock this after a few days. I've only had the game about one to two weeks, um, so I haven't unlocked a lot of stuff. But I've done some, done a little bit of landscaping. Uh, here's Timmy and Tommy. These little um, these little weirdos will follow you around the shop. 
<laughs> Everything about this game is pretty cute, to be fair. Uh, they do a good job with the stylizing of it. They hide a lot of the weaknesses of the Switch um, by like making things that are slow deliberately. Uh, we'll see some of that. Just Gnome. Gnome looks pretty cool. 1900 bells. I actually don't have any money on me, so that's uh, not going to happen. Yeah, little wall candle, little soup heater. What are those things called? Little soup heaters. Uh, and then over here, of course, is just the general shop, so you can buy a whole bunch of um, basic tools and bits and pieces. Uh, I do need a new axe, so I'll just pick this up. Uh, of course, I don't have money, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so, yeah. Do you need to bear in mind I need to pick up a new axe? That's fine. See you there, Timmy. He loves getting feedback about the game. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, so we got a vacant island, a vacant uh, housing lot here, and one of the villagers' homes. Uh, down here we have a little cove on the beach. It's pretty chill. And you just hang out. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Take a little screenshot. Why not? Uh, over here we have Goose, uh, who is a chicken. But, um, you know, his name's Goose. We, we don't judge in the island. Go for it. He, uh, he loves his fitness stuff. He's drinking a pretty sick looking smoothie, to be honest. Wouldn't mind that. Give me the hat. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, the beach. A couple of coconut trees planted. I uh, went to Mystery Island, got some coconuts, planted them here. So now the, uh, the beaches are looking pretty slick. I also have these bamboo trees going on. Got those from a different island too. Some more coconut trees. A little picnic down here by the beach. Pretty chill. That one was named Goose. Yeah, yeah. I don't name them. <laughs> there's a there's a set number of villagers in the game. They randomly some of it's randomness. Some of them I think you can like entice villagers to your island doing various things. Uh, yeah. Uh, by default, I every island gets like one uh, fruit that's native to it. So on this island, it's apples. Uh, but my uh, mom in the game sent me some peaches. Uh, so that was pretty cool. So I planted those and you can see those across the pond. We'll go harvest those in a sec After we get whatever this chunky fish is. Oh, how did I ruin that? He bited it Ah, That sucks That's fine. I was down here a little bamboo garden at this cool little water shoot. I like this. It's pretty chill There's a cherry blonde uh, Rock going on over here. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And then just the chill zone down here It's pretty cool uh, so yeah, here's our peach trees. We don't need to harvest these. Uh, here's the house of one Molly. She's not at home right now. Molly's the uh, little bird villager. It's pretty cool. But since we're here, we may as well pick up these peaches. Uh, so these grow over time on these trees. Because I've planted them here. The ideal thing to do is um, harvest a bunch of peaches. You can sell them in the shop. And get more monies. Uh, it's pretty faster if I just shake these all down first and then collect the peaches after. So we'll do that. Uh, so yeah, this is like a little orchard area I created because you can easily um, accidentally chop down trees. So I've kind of marked these off with these little fences just so I have an idea of what's actually going on over here. Uh, it's pretty, pretty chill. Pretty chill. Get all the apples, yes. And stuff that drops on the... I don't actually know how long stuff stays in the ground for in this when you drop it on. Like, it, there's no immediate um, decay on items on the ground, at least for a few days. Or for a few hours. Uh, I haven't tested it more than that. I'm sure eventually it'll probably disappear. Uh, or else you end up having, like, a sh so much crap just basically on the ground, right? Uh, the thing with this orchard is that there's not really a lot of space I put between these uh, trees, so it's a bit hard to see between it. And whoops, I uh, picked up the fence. Other thing with this game is the inventory is pretty limited and uh, size. Like you can see it here. This is this is your max inventory. I don't think you can get it any bigger than this. You start off with only like two lines, and then you can do a bunch of stuff and uh, invest resources to get that a little bit higher. Oops. Uh, the other thing is that because these trees are right next to the uh, fences, I keep accidentally demolishing them. So when I go to redo this zone, I'll need to put a bit of extra space between them. But uh, you live and you learn. 
the key thing that I wanted to do th for this was just primarily to get uh, the peaches cordoned off because they're not native to the island. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't accidentally have one peach tree and then just wreck it. And then we had the peaches on the island. It's not great. Uh, currently, I'm about 300 grand in debt to Tom Nook. So I need to uh, get me some bells. Get me some serious bells and then start adding on um, extra rooms to the house, which uh, we'll show when I go back to it. So yeah, I think that's most of the fruit here gone. Uh, over here is a bit of just random trees. There's a nice um, campsite here. So when villagers uh, come to your island, they pop out there. Here's Olaf's fancy house that uh, we saw him earlier. Uh, there's a little grasshopper. Oh, he ran away. That's fine. Uh, we have a ladder to go all the way up here, but there's nothing I've really done landscape-wise uh, towards the top bits of the land. I may as well grab some of these apples while I'm here. Nice. All right, we'll pop on over here. The, the other thing that's a bit annoying is that in traversing your island, you have to use this like vault stick to get over the rivers. You can build bridges like the one I had there towards the bottom left, but um, they're expensive, uh, at least at the start. So that kind of sucks. I think it's like a hundred grand or so for like a cheapy bridge, which is a lot to me at the start. Obviously that'll scale up. Uh, here's a money tree I planted. So every day, I think it's like, three to five uh, little cracks in the ground appear. One of them is usually a money bag that you can replant uh, or throw in extra money uh, and it'll grow into a three. So instead of just getting an immediate like one grand, you can plant it, let it grow and then get three grand off it, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure you can put up to like 10 grand in those little holes, uh, but we'll show those off when we bump into it. Yeah, Cause we'll need to go fossil hunting today. Yeah, it's it's a pretty chill game. Like it, the primary premise of it uh, is just um, this cycle, right? Like you have a couple of things you want to do, you get them done, move on to the next thing, get more money, build up your village, and uh, continue it. It's pretty chill. There is sort of um, an overarching goal to get like your island up to a certain level, uh, and then you can have a, a concert with one very a special KK Slider, um, who is a beautiful musician in the Animal Crossing world, but we'll see. And this is only my first Animal Crossing game as well, so I'm still gonna use the some of the mechanics of it, but overall it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, cheers Mayor. Sorry, uh, my audio levels are a bit um, mungled up since I don't usually do this, but appreciate that. Thank you. Any uh, any nice plans for the day, Mayor? He keeps planning to chill. Um, we got a few more, a uh, few more bits of land over here waiting to be picked up by new villagers. I uh, can see some coconuts here in the trees. Grab those. Get some more shells. Mm, dragonfly. I already have one of those. It's not the end of the world. Could pick it up and sell it, but yeah. Lovely coconuts. Like we're chopping, nice. Clean the piggy cage. Glad to see the pigs are doing well. Kind of a lost soul, yeah. I mean, the quarantine everyone's kind of a bit meh. Just, just take it easy. Keep it chill. As you can see, there's not really a lot I've done on the island on this side. I didn't plant these uh, coconut trees. That's fine. <gasps> I'm already out of space. Um, so here you can start to see where this becomes problematic. I should have probably dumped some of this off in my storage before coming out this way, but I didn't. Some of the stuff stacks up to like a max size, so you can see here like apples and fruits in general tend to stack to a max of 10. Uh, I picked up this message in a bottle, which will give me a message from some randomer. Uh, so Marina, taught up this DIY recipe, uh, blah blah blah, bunch of flavor text, floral swag. 
So then you basically use the item, you learn how to craft it. Yeah, no worries, man. See you later. Cool. Let's have a look. Floral swag. We go into DIY recipes and you can see it here. It takes a whole bunch of weeds to, to craft. Looks pretty nice. Uh, these shells tend to sell for quite a bit, so that's why I'm picking them up. Nice. There's another one here. Yoink. Cool. I'll run on back this way. I go to the shop and sell off some of the stuff I picked up. There's a whole mechanic built into the game with the um, the flowers too. I think you can usually only buy like the first three levels. So like a red version, yellow version, and white version and then if you put them next to each other you can kind of crossbreed them uh, it's a whole big mechanic uh, it's up to me i want to sell uh, turnips i haven't bought yet so every sunday um the game is kind of based on a real life clock every sunday you can uh, buy turnips um, and basically during the week there's a stock market effect so you want to basically buy them at a low price one Sunday and then wait for them to max out uh, during the week so you can make a profit on them uh, if you don't you'll make a loss which you know isn't great uh, I kind of want to keep some of these fruits I don't really hold on to a lot of stacks of them I'll keep one of each I suppose and sell everything else uh, so 10, 10 apples 10 peaches 10 coconuts that's fine uh, wasp nests, I'll keep those. Keep those nuggets, yeah, okay. 15 G's, yes, please. Cool, now we can buy an axe again. Sweet. You can craft these from scratch too. Uh, I'm just buying them because it's uh, a bit easier. And then I can upgrade the flimsy axe to a stone axe or a better axe if I go over here. So I need wood to do this. I need wood and iron nuggets. So I need three wood. I'll be able to get this. Um, yeah. So I'll keep that in mind for the moment. Stick the flimsy axe up here. Usually for inventory management, the top row here I keep for my tools. Uh, second row is kind of for semi-important items that I don't plan to sell. Uh, we can open up all these packages. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. All right. Yeah, welcome back, Mayor. Welcome back. Cool. Um. Didn't see a lot of fossils around or cracks in the ground. Usually cracks in the ground mean that you can um, uh, dig and pick up a fossil. I haven't come across any of them yet today, so I'll probably go check out the upper areas of the island now just to see if there's any loose fossils up there. Uh, I did play this a bit late last night, so it's possible they just haven't respawned. I think a new day starts on the island at like 5 a.m. your regional time and you like set the hemisphere whether it's north or south so it matches up with your local time which is kind of cool. Uh, and it means that you can like visit people in different hemispheres uh, to go fetch different bugs and different resources and different uh, crops and stuff at different times of the year I think. Which is pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't look like there's... It might be one of yeah. There's one crack up here. So this is cool. This is an example of like what the cracks look like on the ground. And so you see these. You grab out your shovel. Uh, you hold that. You dig. There's a fossil. Beautiful. And what we're gonna do is donate these to the museum and then do a little uh, little tour of the museum status at the moment. It's kind of it's very similar to uh, Stardew Valley Museum in in a lot of ways, but the one in this is just so much better. Um, if Stardew Valley had a museum like the one in this, holy crap. <laughs> it's it's the most impressive thing I've seen in the game in a while. Um, just the way they've done it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it, it's, it's truly something to see. Um, we'll go there pretty shortly. Uh, there's a nice secret beach up here too. I uh, met a guy who sells secret uh, knockoff paintings, sometimes authentic paintings of like... Leonardo da Vinci and stuff like this, so it's pretty cool to see. 
Uh, not seeing a lot of cracks up here. Nice little waterfalls action here. Pretty chill. Pretty nice. Uh, not seeing much over here in terms of fossils, but that's okay. Uh, there's a blue bottle. That's okay. Yeah, there's one. As I say, there's usually like two or three of these per day. And there's usually like a shiny, a shiny one too that you can plant uh, resources in and make a money tree. So that's two. Aha! Gotcha. There is three. Sweet! The the money spot usually gives you a grand up front, so I'm not too concerned about finding that at the moment. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll head back to the library now. Or the uh, museum and check it out. There we go. I have a bad habit of going to the menu to choose stuff. You have this radial dial too, because remember this is on like Joy Cons. Um, so it's a little bit finicky, but it's all right. It works. And yeah, nice chill bench here too, among the flowers. It's pretty nice. Yeah, but next door to it is what we want: the museum. This is so cool. <laughs> like every time I go in here, I'm like, wow, games have come a long way. Uh, in a very short time. And so this is Bladders. Bladders is pretty cool. He's a, he's a caretaker to the museum. Sleeps during the day because you know he's a he's an owl, but I'll wake him up. Oh, give him a little poke. Wake you go, Bladders. Uh, and I want him to assess these fossils to figure out what the hell they are. Uh, so select the fossils from here. There's four of them we have in our inventory. Give them to him. He's gonna be all like, oh. He found one that's not in the museum yet. It's pretty cool. Cool. He's gonna, so he gives them back to you. Uh, so you have an option of donating it to the museum or keeping it yourself. You can place them out on the island so you have like mini exhibits if you want. I'm just currently focusing on uh, giving these all to the museum. So you can see I got this skull, this tail, and these two things as well. Uh, so this is the only one he doesn't have so far. So I think we'll go, yeah, I, I don't really, he'll give you a bit of like a, a spiel on each individual fossil if you want to chat to him about it. Uh, if I find a cool fossil or anything, sometimes I'll chat to him. If it's one I'm not really arsed about, I'm not going to bother. Uh, yeah, and this is my little Nook phone, uh, anytime I bring this up. It's a cool interface that they have for this, like you can do all these various things. Uh, Nook miles are a currency in the game that you get, uh, so you have these kind of five generic ones that kind of refresh each time you finish one. Uh, it's like talk to your neighbors, sell shells, get fossils assessed. These are general tasks that you'll do on a daily basis. It's a way to keep grinding the currency basically. Uh, and you can use these to buy certain items uh, from an ATM and resident services, uh, which we'll go back to soon. But you also have all these things, right? And these are just generic... Um, uh, they're kind of like a guide in terms of what you should be doing in the game. So if you're wanting to get more Nook Miles, you can, you know, focus on this. Uh, get a bunch of fish in a row, you know. Um, get a whole bunch of stuff unlocked in the, in the catalog and do all this good stuff. Uh, so there's a lot of systems built into it. Uh, so first up, we'll go to the most boring section of uh, the museum so far. It's the... Uh, paintings and artwork, mostly just because I haven't unlocked a lot of it. I think I've got two of these. Um, and it really does put the uh, the perspective of what you can do with the museums and these types of games uh, into consideration. Uh, so there's one here. Academic painting, uh, the Vitruvian Man, Leonardo da Vinci. It's pretty cool. And you can read a bunch on it. Uh, so as you can see, the walls are pretty bare at the moment. Uh, not a huge amount going on. And it's got the classic, you know, museum music in the background. And over here, we got the gleaners. Yeah, this is pretty cool. A lot of room for a lot of cool stuff. I'm assuming that on these um, pedestals you'll have, uh, what you call it, statues. Uh, and similar to uh, over here statues and urns and stuff like that i figure but uh, we'll see as we unlock them usually a, a f you know mischievous fox shows up who wants to uh, sell paintings but you have to determine which ones are fake and which one's real based on like the actual um real life paintings that they're based on which is super cool 
Uh, we'll save the fishes for last, uh, dinosaurs for second last. Let's check out the the bug section. Uh, so you can catch bugs with your net. Fairly, fairly straightforward. Nothing too crazy about it. Uh, but here we have our little garden. We've got a little wasp nest over here. A little bagworm over here. Pretty cool. Uh, as you unlock stuff, it'll all appear here. This is a little taster for what the actual um, fish section is going to look like. It's so amazing. A giant water bug, and I think these are little loaches. Uh, but in here should be the butterfly garden, which is pretty cool. So yeah, you have all the, the butterflies here. Different times of the day as well, they actually do different things. So obviously at night they're going to be uh, sleeping and they tend to be like sitting on all these side uh, sections of the area. And just having a little snooze. But yeah, you can see all the butterflies I've captured so far. There's a, there's a good handful of them for a few days, I think. Got a little snail over here too. Got that when it was raining. It's pretty cool. You can read all the signs on the different butterflies. There's a bunch here. It also gives you the date that you've captured this stuff on, which is pretty cool. It's like a nice way of tracking the history of when you've done this stuff. And so yeah, a little butterfly garden. We'll pop out of there now. Nice. What's this? This is a little moth area. Or pill book? Oh yeah, he's on the little leaf there. Alright. Very tiny. And then the moth there is pretty cool. Uh, these are not yet filled. Uh, it automatically fills these two when you donate them similar to the fossils uh, to the museum. So you don't choose what goes where. Uh, spooky tarantula is in here. You can kind of see his legs in the middle. It's pretty cool. I uh, don't know what goes here. Over here we've got a wharf roach just kind of zipping around in the little fake beach. And a hermit crab chilling in here. It's very cool. Hermit crab was the first thing I captured in the game. That's cool to see it there. Uh, what is this? This is pretty cool. Oh, the mole cricket. I was wondering, I haven't seen these yet. Um, these only appear on the ground, so when you're running around the island, you hear like these uh, bug noises. And when you hear them, you can stop and dig it up and uh, do it. So that's cool the way that they show it here underground while well, you have the like, grasshopper up top. And I'm guessing these are like ants here. Uh, and there's something creepy there too. What is that? It's a long locust, not a grasshopper. My bad. And it looks like there's something here right in front of me, but maybe it's just a placeholder for the moment. Uh, in here, this is a cool, like very uh, reminiscent of like an actual museum little side area, it's a little paper kite butterfly. You can see this is where they set up all the exhibit exhibits, exhibits, exhibits. Uh, this guy's just chilling out here. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of that little uh, bug section. There's a bit more uh, in this open area we'll check out and then we'll pop back. Uh, so you can see uh, over here is where we came in to I think it was over here right it was down here to the left is where we actually came into the butterflies and then you can go up and around this way like it's quite big um, and because it like takes into account real time like different seasons of the game and stuff like that uh, you'll be able to populate this more like, look at this guy look at this guy giant atlas mod pretty cool but yeah that's the bug section it's pretty it's pretty chill. I like it. Uh, next, we'll go to the fossil section. I personally, the fish is my favorite, but so we'll go to the uh, the fossil section next. Hey, Meds, how's it going, dude? Hope you're having a, a good weekend. Uh, so the museum in this is absolutely uh, like <laughs> it's crazy how good it is. And so you can see all the stuff on display here. This is more reminiscent of like the Stardew Valley style of um, having pedestals with atoms, ad atoms? Uh, items and stuff on them, which is pretty cool. So you can see there's a whole bunch of information about each item. Yeah. And then you go in here, right? And this is like where all the fossils that you pick up and get assessed go. And this shit is cool if you're into um, dinosaurs. Like it's all real life models, right? 
Uh, so you can check these out. Uh, some of them aren't complete, obviously. You only get like, you usually get a head part or a body part or a leg part. Uh, but it's pretty damn cool. Like, look at this stuff. Uh, so this all starts out empty, of course, as well, right? And you pick up these bits and pieces as you go. So it's it's really cool to see your progress as the game goes on. And the more you play, obviously, the more this stuff gets filled out. And so I only have the skull of the Triceratops there, you can see. A Spinosaurus. A Coropolite, dinosaur track, so dinosaur poop and a dinosaur uh, dinosaur footprint. It's pretty damn cool. Uh, here we have the big boy, the Diplodocus. Uh, what else we got? These little blue spots, you can stop on them and you can like get a full view of different spots on the map. Hey, Crowd, good to see you, dude. Yeah, totally. Uh, I just did it for this, just to try it out. Um, it's very easy to do. You basically just apply a filter to your webcam. Um, but yeah, here's a long neck boy that you can see here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here is cool as well. Nice little uh, replica of one actually killed off the dinosaurs. Sad face. And if we go into the next room, you should see some more fossils. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this is really interesting. So the whole premise in Animal Crossing is like, yeah, you're a human, right? So that's fairly straightforward. There's not much to the character creator. You don't pick like a, an animal to be based on. But as you can see, like the villagers themselves are based on different creatures. So it can be like a chicken or a bear. So what this actually does, uh, these lines on the ground, it ends up bringing you towards the evolutionary path of the villagers. Uh, I actually don't have my alerts. Um copied across onto here so let me do that thanks for the uh, the host crowd let me stick this here nice I'll pop it there uh, yeah thanks for the host uh, so that's what I was saying uh, you basically get to see the evolutionary pattern of all these different villagers uh, and up here you can see what they actually look like so this is really cool uh, like when I first saw this, I was like, holy shit, okay, this, this is pretty amazing. And then you stand here at the end, right? Super cool. Um, yeah, a couple more couple, couple more skeletons going on here. Sabretooth here. Probably the only one I have all the parts for so far. Uh, and these are randomly determined. Giant Mammoth too, it's pretty cool. Uh, and as I said, you can place these. So if you get duplicates, which you can get sometimes, you can just place these out on your island and have like a mini, have a mini saber tooth skeleton like in front of your house or something, which I think is pretty badass. Um, so this is re really stunning. When I first saw this, I was like, holy crap. Uh, as I say, these blue things, oh, it gives you the full scale. And at the top left there, you can even see like the, uh, the comet coming down. I never noticed that before. It's just, oh, it's so good. So good. Um, yeah, and you can see here like the continuing tree branches uh, going left and right. Hey, Lunik, hope you're doing well, dude. Hope you're having a good weekend, chilling. Welcome to uh, Danland. We're currently checking out the museum. Whole bunch of cool stuff here. Uh, so yeah, even here you can see the start of the evolutionary for different bits and pieces. It's just really well done. Um, none of these games I've played have come close to this level of uh, intricacy with the museum design stuff uh, but now on to the last section we're going to check out the uh the fish and this is but like i personally love aquariums so when i saw this i was like oh man this is cool this is so cool like so usually in in stardew valley or any of these farming games you tend to just have like a, a simple model of the fish uh, on a pedestal this thing goes all out and it like has properly modeled water um well properly modeled like transparent water uh, and you can actually see all the individual fish in them, which is super cool. Because yeah, they're actually moving around and stuff. Um, I don't think of any game that I've played as similar, has caught this similar like level of scale um, and just chillness. Like, look at this. They're, they're just being fish. Little crawfish down there. Little black bass, little carp, little koi fish swimming around. Uh, you can place these down too, so you get a nice little um, a nice little fish tank in your home, and I can show that after this. 
Uh, over here is for some big boy fish we don't have yet, I guess. You don't know uh, beforehand what actually goes to each of these fish. It just says, hey, you can donate to us if you want. Uh, so in here, freshwater guppy is the bottom one. There's the carp on top. And then this is a dace. And this one's empty as well. Looks like this is probably a red snapper by the picture here. But uh, we don't know yet. And so continue on, right? This is probably for sharks, I suspect. But I haven't come across any just yet. You get these all just by fishing. Uh, you can sell the fish, you can place them, you can donate them. Totally up to you. Uh, but I can just look at like... Like the whole atmosphere and vibe in here is just... It's just so well captured. Uh, that fish is having a really good time with that tank all to itself for the moment. <laughs> I suspect it will get busier in here and the mackerel won't be alone alone for forever, hopefully. That'd be pretty sad. And then over here, we got a long boy fish. He's like my prize fish at the moment. Or fish. I got him on a mystery island. He's pretty cool. He's pretty big. Uh, and then if we go here, we got the firefly squid. Those dudes are cool. In the dark, they have like um, glow in the dark spots. It's pretty chill. And then we have the chamber nautilus here. It's a little shrimpy boy, I guess. Um, and then these little artifacts here are very museum-y. They're here by default, um, but I still like it. Yeah, I think if I stand a bit here, yeah, you can stand in these locations and it like tilts the camera, which I like. Pretty nice. Then tilts back. Yeah, so that's over there. Let's go up and around. Uh, so obviously when this is more donations, you'll be able to like peer in through these holes. It's like just it's just such a good way of displaying all this stuff, you know. There's no game I've played that's come close to this. Um this level of like this is how to do the museum stuff. Uh, over here we have a snail or a whelk just chilling and an oyster. Uh, over here this is like the um finding Nemo exhibit basically. Uh so the anemone, you got a little sea slug. That's cool. Then here we got the clownfish chilling out with Dory. Uh, the sturgeon fish, pretty cool. I'll just follow these guys for a while. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Uh, butterfly fish, little bubbles over here. And the fact it tracks the dates and stuff is just cool. Uh, here we have the poor sea cucumber on his own for now, but he's got a little mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp, super scary animal. Uh, can see like I think humans can see like three colors of the spectrum pretty well it's like red green and blue but like shrimp have like seven so everything looks like just amazing to them uh, they also have a super strong pincer attack they can do uh, yeah I think the oatmeal taught me a lot of that stuff it's a good comic now it's pearl oyster chilling up here it's nice it's nice uh, here we have like a little walkway Again, so it's just so well done. Like they could have just not had this here, uh, but they decided to put it in. And you can also see like the little squid there is hiding, chilling by the pillar. Like it's just, like it, it just feels so much like a a real aquarium, right? Like you can imagine just being in here, and even the um, the in-game audio, like you can hear the trickling of water, and it's like slightly echoed when I'm in this tunnel compared to when I'm like not. Like when I'm down here, it's a bit more clear. Uh, but down here we got some seaweed going on, some barnacles, sea star, turban shell. You can see the little seahorsey here too. A uh, little squid chilling by the front of the uh, front of the screen. There's a dab. This is like a um, what do you call it? Ray, I guess, would be the closest thing. Uh, all the flounder similar too, right? They got the big flappy flaps, sea pancakes, you know. Octopus chilling in the back. He wants no attention. That's cool. That's cool. The zebra turkey fish. This thing looks badass. Um, a little knife jaw fish. Then the sea base. Yeah, I was. This is the first one of these games I played. Crowd. Um, it's super relaxing. 
uh, to just do this stuff and like you can take things at entirely your own pace there's no like stamina meter like in stardew valley or little wood or anything like that you can do as many things as you want um it's just the only catch is it's based on real time so if you want to do certain things that are only accessible at night or day you kind of have to wait you can change your date and time settings in the game if you really want but like that's not it, t to me that just seems like it's it's not really the intention um of the game and what you should be doing but also like you know i'm in no rush to like unlock everything in this i just take it at my own pace so here you can see we've done full circle uh yeah it doesn't take a lot to get to like even this point in the game like i i usually um play this for like maybe an hour at night before i go to bed or something um so it's a bit unusual i'm playing it during the day which is kind of a nice change of pace uh, you actually see different villagers open a bit at night compared to daytime and um you can like look at shooting stars in the evening sometimes too so it's there's a lot, whole bunch of nice cool things uh, and it's like immediately as soon as you come out you feel like you just left the aquarium right it's pretty pretty nice you can like hear the sea uh, and just the wind blowing in general uh, but yeah let's check out the uh, the house i don't think we've been in here yet and we got a bunch of stuff that we can put down so this is your own area when you start off on the island you only have like a small tent i think it's like a three by three grid or four by four grid uh, now we've got two rooms and we've come a bit of a long way um, so we're going for a bit of an oriental theme in here we got this this uh, contraption that uh, makes food we got a little little bookshelf over here and a matching colored mirror uh, the mirror lets you customize your look so you can go in here and say change it up uh, this is my default character look uh, but you can change your skin tone and all that good stuff uh, but you stay human uh, you can change your hairstyle i've unlocked a whole bunch of these you don't get a lot of it out of the bat um yeah a whole bunch of cool eyes nose mouth settings cheeks so anything you do is pretty much you can do whatever you want right you can change gender here if you want uh, or even just appearance like uh, it's cool the only list of stuff is male and female as well which is kind of nice though um, they're pretty accessible with that stuff we got a nice little fan here you can turn it on you need to chill after being outside in the heat all day it's pretty good it's pretty good uh, a bunch of just wall decorations and stuff the uh, thing above the bed there is a from an event um so different times of the year they hold different events to get you to do like special things so during the easter period they had uh, instead of fruit appearing on some trees they had eggs and you could basically shake the trees get the eggs and then craft stuff with it uh, so i leave that there as a little reminder that i've done it which is nice uh, here's my wardrobe so all of the clothes you've left in storage you can access through this uh, it's like a quick way to actually look at all these items and choose what you want to wear uh, so there's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of cool stuff in here uh, at the moment i'm liking this look that i got going on you know the, it's funny because this this is like the default shirt you get with the game but like it's super uh feels right you know i'm liking it thought about the t parker combo but uh not for me um not yet anyway yeah it's pretty cool uh, we've got a humidifier and a little rat over here something weird about owning like a pet rat on a on a world where like animals have evolved to be like humans uh, super strange uh, over here we got our fish uh, a couple that i've placed so this is what they look like when you just place them down uh, so you can turn the lights on and off and um, there's a squid and the koi under them over here we got our record player um you can basically this is a kk slider uh, this little wolfy dude so i'm going to register some uh new tracks that i got hey aod good to see you dude welcome to uh welcome to danland we're we're chilling this is like such a completely different change of pace from uh, CNC. It's great. Uh, so now that I've registered that track, I can play it. Do right. It's pretty cool. I got a little mantis dude above the door here, um, and some decorative stuff. Uh, so this is the primary room that I've been working on. I only unlocked the second room a couple of days ago. I haven't really decorated it much or done anything with it. Uh, they give you a bunch of bathroom stuff to imply, hey, maybe you could build a bathroom in here. But it doesn't have to be. Uh, so got this sick toilet. When you walk up to it, it automatically opens. Pretty sick. So, uh, yeah. Just going to hop on there. Hop off. Guy does his business. Uh, nice little cutting mirror going on here. 
Uh, at the moment, I'm basically using all these boxes as like placeholder shelves. Some cactus, some tissue, because you know it's the bathroom. Nice little automatic washing machine here. This isn't a mechanic in the game. It's just they give you some nice furniture and stuff to throw in. You open it, close it, and it'll actually start. Right? You can hear the sound effects. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. And then over here we've got the guitar. You can interact with it. Pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I need to figure out what to do with that room properly. Uh, I need to get a whole bunch more furniture and stuff to put in it. Uh, also do have the tambourine over here. So you can pick that up. Or just interact with it. You can hold it in your inventory and bring it around with you. Uh, I'm actually, I'm curious. I don't know if you can do that with the guitar. I'll try it now. Might be able to. You can like hold the tambourine and like just spam the button. Uh, so if I pick this up, can I hold the guitar? Uh, where is it? Here. Where are you? Here it is. Whoops. This. Ah, I can only place it. Okay. The tambourine you can actually pick up and carry it around with you. So that's cool. But yeah, we'll leave that there for now. Back to some KK slider. Uh, so what we got going on, digital alarm clock, I'm going to put this in storage. It's pretty cool though, it does show the actual local time uh, on it. Farmer overalls, not wearing that. Stick that in storage, that in storage, that in storage. I'm going to go and sit, like this is part of the inventory management part of it, which isn't the most fun to be honest. Uh, it's okay. Uh, we got this cool globe. I guess I could stick it down instead of this plant maybe. Spin. Pretty cool, you know, chill vibes. Uh, so I, can, I plan to sell these extra fossils and stuff. Uh, just to show you, I guess, you can place these uh, when you're facing a bit of blank uh, wall. So you can place it here or you can place it outside. Right? Uh, you can actually mix and match them too. So you can get like the head of, I don't know, a mammoth and put it on like a T-Rex if you can like match them up correctly. Uh, doctor's mask, I don't plan to wear, but it's very, um, you know, it's very COVID-19-ish. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, what else we got? So we're gonna sell this. We're gonna sell this. Uh, we want to put one stack of each of these in storage just to have them in case we need them. Uh, so stick these for selling. These for selling. Uh, stick this back in storage. This I'll pop outside, I guess. Uh, this. These branches I'm not really going to use at the moment anyway, I don't think. Uh, pirate wall, so you can get wallpapers and put them on. Uh, and it gives you this dramatic, you know, change. It's kind of like a pirate ship aesthetic. Uh, I might stick that in the other room. Yeah, we'll stick the pirate ship stuff in here. And then we'll head back outside. Uh, play some ball. There we go. So it gives it a whole different uh, aesthetic. Now, one thing that I can do, I guess, I guess I'll do it now. Why not? Um, you can dream to visit a random person's island. Uh, you can't do anything with it, but it's a cool way to um get ideas for how other people have set out their entire island. Uh, yeah, let's get changed. Uh, I'm gonna remove this mask. Styler. Uh, so hop on the bed. Should I get some sleep? Yeah, sure. Go for a quick snooze. Uh, here's a little dream goddess person. Luna. They also do a very good job with the Simish type um, speaking of the characters. 
so you can like share a, a snapshot of your town that people could potentially visit. It's all random as far as I know. Connecting to the internet. I guess you can search by address too, uh, but we'll just go to a random one. I only checked out the um, the Animal Crossing streams on Twitch last night. I had a quick look. Uh, I was planning to do this anyway, and I figured I'd see what's going on. Some of them seem to have set up um, random items that you can directly go to if you want and, and like get resources and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it looks like here we're going to an island called Evergreen. And this is basically just going to put to shame uh, the absolute state of my island at the moment. Because <laughs> the thing with this game being out a year, right, is that everyone's like maxed out uh, all their resources and figured out like ideal layouts and like gone, for the most part, pretty dramatically um, in terms of their setup. Other is not so much. But uh, we'll check this out. Yay, if I want to get out of here, go back in the bed. Cool. Uh, so this is someone else's island, and you can see from the mini-map in the bottom right already, they've done a lot of landscaping and stuff. Uh, so here's the residential services. You can see they've got this nice little patch. Uh, because it's a dreamland, I can't interact with any of this stuff. If you have like a friend code, you can then uh, fly to that person's island and interact with their, their things. Uh, but yeah, let's just have a quick, quick gander around at like the potential for some of this stuff. Uh, so there's a nice little shop here couple of trees i can't sadly uh take any of the stuff here back with me because it's you know a dream world i uh, can meet villagers and say hey so if you want to get an idea of what other villagers are out and about and uh, this is a good way to do it uh, so yeah you can see all the attention to detail like all these cool little uh, tiles being put down for little stone walkways with some grass on them little punching bag here that i can beat the crap out of it's pretty cool Oh, this is a sheep person. She seems cool. Uh, it's Michelangelo David just casually hanging out, you know. Nothing to see here. Uh, here's the museum. They've put a couple of these uh, plinths, I guess, and popped the fossils on top of it. Or potentially just upgraded the museum to have it. Nice little garden runway here. A bench that you can just kind of sit down on, chill, take a sneaky screenshot. Uh, so it's useful, you can take screenshots to get ideas for your own setup and stuff later if you want to look at them. Uh, here's the island. Don't know what the, what that is. <laughs> Almond Titan Kabuto, you know it. Here's like a marimba kind of setup, right? Or windpipes. A uh, little guitar too. That's pretty cool. And like I say, I can't actually like interact with the world. If you run over flowers and stuff, you'll destroy them uh, on your own island. If you do it here, it'll look destroyed, but it won't actually be on their island because it's a, a dream, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, here's the little villagers, uh, little villagers' houses. You can see the little setup here. It's pretty cool. It's a good way of getting to see some of the stuff that you haven't yet come across in the game too. Like, oh my god, these bonsais are kick-ass. Um, bonsai trees, awesome things. Uh, you can see like those cactus I have and those uh, succulents I have. So it's kind of a cool way of uh, displaying this stuff. I can build stands. I can build one or two of them. I've unlocked the recipes. Uh, here you have the little library. It's pretty cute, right? A uh, little signpost saying this way to, you know, the player's home or whatever. Nice little laundry line. Like, like the layout of this is just really cool, right? Uh, some nice terrariums, another bonsai. Just so sick. And then you have these, like, um, roses uh, that you need to hybrid to, to build. I think blue roses are the hardest ones to make in the game. Uh, here's a nice, cool, chill little gnome hanging out. Uh, yeah. What else we got? What we got off the beaten path? What's over here? Uh, this is pretty cool, like having a little uh, little anchor statue here. 
some more Pokemons, chill now. Cool little Tiki statue. It's nice. Anything going on up here? Oh wow, nice little picnic table. A little uh little bed I guess that you can lie down on. Just chill. It's nice. Those um lights over here, these are really cool. These I would imagine are made from uh, stars which you can only see at night. Uh, sometimes you look up and you're basically looking at like constellations and stuff. It's again pretty cool. And then when you see a shooting star you basically tap a button and it's meant to land on your island I think. I haven't gotten any yet. Uh, I managed to press A on them once but that was all. Uh, I guess I can't actually... It would be cool if you could like use this and it would show you out into the distance. Um, but that, that's just not the case for, for this at the moment. And I'm just realizing my camera's actually covering up the um, the mini-map, so you can't actually see it. Let me pop over here. Sweet. That should be, uh, that should be a bit better, right? Yeah. Uh, so we got all this cool stuff going on. Let's pop up a ladder and sneak up here. Oh, I don't have a ladder. Damn. Uh, I guess I'll find where they have a ledge and I can climb up it. Because it's a dream again, they take away your uh, your inventory stuffs. But if it's like your friend's island or something, then it's all good. Uh, these are little inclines you can build too. I don't have any yet. Again, they're quite expensive for the early game. Uh, but like, yeah, just like the little... All these little details. Um... It just little duck. Oh, if only Crexus was here. Nice little duck action going on. Uh, nice little uh, turtle. Little snappy turtle. Uh, don't seem to be able to interact with the duck. Doesn't do much. Well, I get to go quack or something. Yeah, so cool mushrooms on a log. Like a lot of this is deliberately placed. Like a cool little Stonehenge area over here. Like look at this. Look how cool this shit is. Uh, I have one of these little um, center rocks with like the little sakura flowers in it uh, on my own island, so that's cool. Pine cones. Uh, this is another bridge. These are like 200,000 or 300,000. Like it's so expensive. But uh, it's cool to have this kind of thing to strive for, right? Oh, hello. Sylvana. And that little uh, jingle that you hear when you talk with them is like the island's theme. You can set that yourself. They give you like um, a kind of a scale to work with. It's like I think it's like G, uh, G below C, all middle C, and then all the way up to an octave, possibly two octaves. Uh, this looks like the the main player's house. I don't I don't know if I can actually go in here. Maybe I can. Never tried this. Actually going into the um, person's house and seeing what their setup is. Their island, their house is probably much bigger. And have more rooms. Yeah, like look at this. Look at this. They've got like the little uh, the little reading corner. Like all the intricate de like look at the details of this. The little hanging the paintings on the wall to make it look like realistic. Little keys there. Uh, the little plaque above the door there, I think just means that you've unlocked all that stuff in the museum for the, like the bug section, so that's cool. Like it just looks like a normal person's home, right? A little rocking chair. I wonder if this rocks. This has to rock, right? Oh, come on. Wait. Nah, it's not gonna rock. Oh man. Nah. Still pretty chill though, like chill in front of the fire. Nice. Uh, so as I said, I only have two rooms, this one and the back one. We'll see what they did with it. Mm, it's like a little, uh, little meditation room going on here. Yeah? It's a cool little um, painting to give the effect of like a, a shelf of plants. I like that. Again, another bonsai tree. I really want one of these bonsai trees. They're super cool. Got candles in the corner. Got the incense in the middle, a little jigsaw puzzle happening here too. This is me trying to uh, get up by moving forward. Just looks like I'm getting angry at the jigsaw. It's pretty cool. 
like a sneaky screenshot, why not? Yeah, it's pretty chill. And it looks like they had rooms either side as well. I don't know if these unlocked yet. But uh, it seems pretty cool. Let's go check it out. All right, it's got like a little kitchen set up here. It's a cool little ant being trapped by the uh, the glass. Nice little uh, dinner table, stove, kettle, little little uh, refrigerator, CD player, the nice like it. It just looks so good, right? Nice. And we'll check out the last room they have going on. See what's happening. Ooh, okay, got a little snappy turtle here. This is uh, an interesting room. It's kind of cultish. I can get behind it. Got the funky music going too. It's like all this chemistry stuff in the middle. It's like a like a grow room, right? That might be the aesthetic they're going for. This is it where they do all their drugs? All the shrooms in the wall. And I just unlocked a recipe for one of those things hanging on the uh, hanging on the wall there, so that's cool. Nice. Some good ideas. I don't pop it. Uh, they have a, an upper floor and a bottom floor too, but I don't want to spend too long checking out the um, their setup. Right. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go all the way back down. Uh, this way, down the incline. Uh, it should be able to put down tiles and stuff. It's something you can unlock. Uh, I haven't unlocked it yet, but it should let you put down like these custom tiles for brick roads and, and all that good stuff. Um, so that'll be fun to do once it's unlocked. Uh, there does seem to be something going on back here. Oh, damn. Look at this. That is a big boy. And this is a cool little just square the person made. This isn't in the game by default. It's just like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna plan this out. I wanna have this over here. I want these here. Damn, it's cool. Um, it's a nice little woodwork going on. They have their campsite up here. Who's this? All right, whatever. It's also the Zelda team they have as around, right? Ba 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 da, ba ba. A nice little campsite, little bed. Yeah, a little camping sign here too. It's pretty cool, right? So this kind of shows you the scale of what you can actually do with this game. Neat. All right, let's get out of here. I've been uh, been embarrassed enough. You can see the their um, town flag there at the top right. It's pretty cool, and uh, you can design your own one. For the most part, it's uh, they have a custom image creator in game. I haven't messed with it too much. I just use one of the other default patterns for our own uh, island flag. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty chill. I can get behind that. All right, we're back in our own island. Knocked a fan off. There we go. And um, we have our inventory again, so let's go sell all that stuff that we are no longer using. We might bump into our own villagers on the way, let's see. Got Olaf hiding in the trees there, just being a bit creepy. That's, that's alright. Ooh, what was that? <gasps> I don't have that butterfly, let's go! Get 
back here. Yes. Sick. I'm gonna donate that to the museum in a bit. May as well get this one while we're here. Have one of these already. Meets the tiger, right? Yeah. Tiger butterfly. We'll sell that. Uh, nice. How you doing, Alfonso? Uh, you can give villager stuff too. Uh, sometimes they give you something in return, or the next day they might do it. Uh, we'll give him a peach. He's got the right idea. Lay down on the floor, eat some peaches, just chill now. <sighs> Work out top. Let's go. Let's have a look at what he gave me. So I give him a peach, he gives me this. <laughs> yeah, we're not wearing that. Cool though. I never heard the uh, the chimes go off on the uh, thing here before. It must go off every hour. That's cool. The actual clock above it is correct too. It's like four o'clock Ireland time. It's neat. Nice little touches, you know. Uh, yeah, one of the sell stuff. This island, this thing here, looks like it's been sold. Uh, so I'm curious who too. But let's go in here and sell some of our stuff. Then we'll go pay at resident services a visit. See what the story is if they tell us who's moving in. Uh, yeah. I want to sell. Sell all this good stuff. Uh, I might keep a few peaches in case we see any other villagers and give them some peaches. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Give me the money. Nice. Nice. Alright. Let's go pay Mr. Nook a visit. By the way, Alfonso. There's our island flag there too. A little tree on the island. One of the defaults. I haven't really messed with the in-game creator much. I don't like the idea of having to create this stuff in the game. I'm sure you might be able to do it. It's like a companion app setup. Um, yeah. Uh, so here's our little ATM. So you have a couple options here. You can use a amiibo to try and get a villager into your camp. Uh, ABD is like the money you have versus how much you owe so i got 70 grand in savings uh, i owe tom nook 348 grand just for the sake of that second room that i'm not even using at the moment but that, that's fine guy's got to make a living somehow right uh redeem nook miles so these are the miles that you get from like doing various tasks you can get these special things bell voucher you can exchange it for money and uh, nook miles ticket that you go to a um, random island to get some extra resources uh yeah let's buy one of these we can go check out a different island i guess might get a new uh new fruit type is kind of what we're after like we want to get like cherries or peach or um oranges or uh there's another one i think i need as well so we'll see uh yeah let's see what else is going here uh you can get rest these are just recipes for these things uh, so you saw a bunch of these different items in the other um, the other areas. It's pretty cool. Stall, two grand. Stone arch, if you want to build your own um, Stonehenge. Cool outdoor bat. I like the looks of that. It's kind of expensive, but it's pretty chill looking. Transformer, robot hero for copyright reasons, right? A utility pole. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, at the moment, I'm kind of just saving my money for the... Um, useful stuff I guess like a lot of this is just kind of cosmetics um, customizable phone case kit you can customize your phone uh, which I should do at some point just not now uh, the other thing is you have this nook shopping section and so you can buy anything that you previously owned and might have lost or sold which is cool uh, but they also give you this like uh, daily Selection of stuff, uh, so this rotates every day too. 
and so you can get so at the start of the stream you saw me get a bunch of items delivered via post uh, it's because i bought it through here uh, the day beforehand so they tend to have like these uh, snooker pool t-shirts um for every single every single uh what you call it ball number today so it's pretty cool uh, sweatpants uh rain boots wandering we'll buy some more uh kk slider tunes uh promotion stuff here is just all mario related i don't actually know if this is just built into the game by default or if it's because you've previous games installed and it pulls in stuff from them uh but there's a whole bunch of stuff here and then seasonal stuff so i have the cool globe uh, which i put on my house earlier and these prom things which i'm i'm not personally interested in but um i can see the appeal sure uh, nice so if i hop on here i can chat to isabel be like yo isabel what's up uh so island evals is the kind of uh, rating system of your island on a scale of like one to five stars so if i go here i'm like oh my island's pretty bad and she's chatting to the villagers they're talking shit behind my back that's fine that's fine I mean, if your review of a holiday location is, I like how there aren't any ghosts around. It's a place where free spirits like me can just be free. I mean, it's a little bit sketchy. You want to aim a little bit higher than that, right? Yeah, increasing the population is the main focus, uh, which is why I put out those three or four new home locations. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some new villagers over the next week. Uh, let us know if there's a few recipes and items if we want to start crafting stuff uh, to add more decorations to the island. That's pretty cool. I can change the island tune, the Irish, the I Irish island flag, um, discuss the resident. Like I think you can basically talk about kicking people off your island if you want. If someone's being a bit snooty or taking up a space, you uh, would rather they didn't. Meanwhile, over here is the uh, the star of the show, Tom Nook. The lone shark himself. Uh, I can hold ceremonies for things that you've previously done. Everyone comes and celebrates, uh, you know, having done a new thing. And um, I haven't done this in a while. I guess we could try one of them. Uh, so infrastructure is building bridges and homes. Uh, about my home is if you want to apply for an extra room, but you need to have paid off your current loan. Uh, what should I do is going to be like, oh, you should get more people to your island. Um, the key thing being like, we want to have a KK slider con concert here but he won't come unless we have the island up to a certain star rating uh, and that's when the cycle kind of kicks off yeah so let's try hold a ceremony i haven't done i only done this once yeah sure let's, let's go celebrate opening the campsite which i opened two weeks ago or something that's fine so everyone gets into the the resident services square or over to the, oh, i guess it brings you over here now it's kind of cool you can see all the villagers i have on the island actually doing this i forgot about that i think a quick screenshot uh so from left to right we got like alfonso there he's the uh, alligator we got olaf the rich uh armadillo i guess chilling there then we got tammy in front of those two we got me got tom nook isabel uh then on the right we got goose who's actually a chicken uh we got tutu the bear and we got molly the uh, little cute duck I like molly molly's pretty quiet but uh she does all right here you start out with no one on you start out sorry with two villagers uh, mine were tammy and uh, goose Woo, it was pretty great i did all the work so i don't know why tom's getting the claps there we go good for us we're amazing we, we are pretty amazing oh shit can we run photo time hog Nice. 
So they give you cool little things like that for like hitting certain milestones, which which is nice, you know. You could sneak up on this bug. I don't know if I have it yet or not. I do. Usually you'll say yes at the start if I don't have the item already, uh, but that, that that's fine. We can donate this uh, butterfly. So run back here to the museum. As you can see, a lot of it's kind of um, masked with these loading screens, right? Because the uh, the capacity of the switch is, is kind of limited from a tech perspective, but it does the job. Uh, I want to make a donation bladders. Take my bug. Take it. And he, of course, hates bugs, so he freaks out. I don't. Ah, uh, sure, tell me. Just to show what it's like. Some say butterflies are the most beautiful butterflies in the world. He says no. They have colored wings, but the way they flutter and flitter is so foul. It flies fast. It's hard to catch one. You should congratulate me. Yeah, he's going to take care of it, even though he hates it. Same ladder, same. That's fine. And that's kind of the main cycles of the game. Um... What we can do is, um, let's see, we can use our Nook Miles ticket to visit a random island. We might potentially get uh, some resources or fruits that we don't currently have yet. And then we can plant those in our own little orchard. Um, it's totally random though, so it's hard to know if it'll work or not. We can buy, I don't have a lot of tools here to be honest, but we can actually buy some when we're on the island with the remaining uh, Nook Miles that we have, I'm not saving them for anything in particular, so uh, I have no issues doing that. So let, let's let's check out this mystery island. Cost 2,000 bells, you'll probably make that in like the course of a day just by doing various stuff, so it's not a huge expense. I want to fly. Uh, use my ticket please. And of course, the people that run the airline company are dodos because they can't fly. How sad is that? Let's go! Uh, what have we got going? Yeah, what would Dodos do? They try to fly and fail. I mean, uh, what? So Dodo Airlines, let's go. Oh, great. <laughs> of course it's raining. Wow. That is Wilbur. He's going to help us get back home if we need to. So let's see what's happening on this island. Uh, got a little workstation here. Some coconut trees. Uh, I'm not seeing a lot on this island, to be honest. I'm surprised there's no um, fruit on these trees. That's kind of annoying. I can try dig one up and see if we, uh, if it might be a fruit tree that's just not hatched. <gasps> got a big boy here. Last time I had a big boy like this, we got the uh, the big long boy fish. So we might get lucky. Of course, I need to try and line this up just, just right. Awkward position. Maybe this will do it. Damn it. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh yeah, this is the one. This is the one. Just have to wait for them to bite the thing down. And then hit the button. Reel it in. That's a good base. Yeah. No such luck. Oh well. Ah, uh, okay, so they're apple trees. That's uh That's not ideal, but it's fine. And you can hear the mole crickets there. Um they're underground basically making noise. Climb down here. There's a little campsite here. Ooh, there's a villager here. Hello. O'Hare, the most Irish, <laughs> what are the chances, uh, villager just hanging around. So fair. Let's 
Sure does, buddy. Go to my island. Good idea. Yeah, talk to Nook. He owns the island, technically. He likes watching trains. Okay. Did you know avocados are technically berries? What? What? Is this madness? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. I guess he'll move into one of the uh, housing spots we've built. So that's kind of cool. We got a tire. Not quite what I was after, but all right. Um, uh, could yeah, I may as well do this. So to to mine in this game, you basically have to hit these rocks with a shovel. Uh, they tend to knock you back each time you hit it. Uh, you can hit I think nine times in a row, and you might be able to get uh, maximum resources from the rock. But as soon as you stop, uh, it'll stop generating the resources. Boom. There we go. So you got some clay, got some iron nuggets, all good stuff. Can use those to increase our weapons. And I think with rain, you potentially get different uh, fish showing up. And I haven't actually fished a lot when it's been raining. So we'll, we'll spend some time and, and see if we can get some of these fishies. Uh, who are in the most awkward angles. Come on. Come on. See, this guy's just spiting me now. Yeah, okay, he's gone. He's all the way over there. This boy, though. Come on. Come on, one of you. Okay, there we go. Uh, what? Nonsense. Okay, this boy, this boy, we're coming for him. As soon as I jump across, he uh, he moves out of range, and of course that scared him away. That's fine. We'll just go for the uh, the oars instead. Cool. You can see here it's knocked me back, and I think that's that's the goal. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, shovel's broke. Rip. Uh, I'm not too focused on gathering a lot of iron and stuff at the moment, so I'm not I'm not too bothered about fixing that right now. Yeah, I should probably grab the coconuts off the trees. It's easy money. And sell these back home to uh, Timmy and Tommy. I can see there's a nice message in the bottle over here. So it's another uh, DIY recipe. Check it out. Open her up. For a grass skirt. Sounds very uh, Hawaiian. I get behind that. There she is. It's pretty cool. Also, looks like I've got a bunch of other things here. See the little notification icon they give you? It's pretty cool. Uh, this boy. Uh, so, yeah, you can see here, it's important to mention, I guess. I, I kind of mentioned it briefly before, but stuff happens during certain seasons and certain times. Uh, so, you kind of have to plan out if you want to capture specific things. Because I'm so early in the game, well, early, like I've kind of caught a good bunch of these things uh, already, which is kind of cool. Uh, but there is a lot of them. So let's claim these things. Talk to your neighbors. Give me them Nook Miles. 
And also will knock one of these Nook Miles for Miles. And so earning Nook Miles for spending and getting Nook Miles. Sure, why not? Uh, cool. Another little fish over here. Let's see if we can catch this guy. Not having a lot of good luck with the fish today. Has to be said. Especially when they're, they're in these like little awkward positions where they're like right up next to the bank. Although this looked like he got his attention. Alrighty. Pull him in. That's a base, right? Or a carp. It's alright, it'll do. I'm gonna hop across here. Uh, will it let me? Yeah. Here we go. Uh, I guess. Oh, there's another guy over here. Oh, come on. I pulled it in. Uh, yeah, and occasionally you'll see these um, bubbles off on the side of the shore. Uh, to get what's out there, you need to throw on a wetsuit. Uh, so I actually carry one on me, as you can see here. Uh, so we're going to jump into the water. Uh, oh, there's one over here too. Oh, we'll get this one first. So you can jump into the water, uh, you can swim on over towards the source of the bubbles. And then you can dive below the water for a short period of time to catch it. Come back here. There we go. Got him. A mantis shrimp. Uh, and there are certain creatures you can only capture by actually going into the water like this. And so that's kind of cool. Uh, you can see some more air bubbles over here. So we'll swim out this way. And you can see they've netted off the, um, the ocean area. Otherwise you can just go for miles. Uh, and never make it back to your island. They do have a feature built in. I haven't actually used it yet. Uh, it's like here. A rescue service. So it'll actually, if you get stuck or something weird happens, uh, this might be a case if you're like on the top elevation of land and like you lose your ladder or something weird. Uh, it'll actually, I think it takes you back to your home. Uh, so it, it's a good option uh, for safety reasons to have it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, nothing new from that lot, but that's okay. I don't really want to go back out there, so we'll hop back on land, head back to the island, uh, sell some of our goodies, and we'll probably call it a stream there. Uh, I don't think there's anything really else that I've missed showing. As I say, it's got all the basic mechanics of these kind of games. Uh, farm resources, meet new villagers, you can do fishing, you can do mining, you can do wood cutting, and uh, wood cutting a tree will cause it to uh, drop one of three wood types, uh, generally speaking, uh, so like normal wood, soft wood, hard wood, huh? and then you can also uh, get bamboo, uh, and hit that and get bamboo wood or young bamboo wood. Yep, yep, let's go back. Yeah, so it, this has been kind of a successful enough mystery island. Like, even if we didn't get any new resources, we managed to talk to O'Hare. Uh, it was a bunny called O'Hare. I guess it's a, an actual hare, which is kind of funny. So, yeah, we got ourselves a, a new islander out of it, I guess. And a bunch of resources here, which we're going to sell off. So you can kind of see the, the key mechanics in place here. Um, you can see it's pretty, it's pretty chill. Like, it, it's a good game, I find, for, like, that hour before bed or whatever just to uh take things easy yeah uh you do have the option of selling stuff in the little box inside the shop too and then you get the bells the next morning but you actually get more money doing it this way uh selling it to them directly and you get the money instantly which is which is nice uh, we want to keep the iron nuggets. Sell these. These are all duplicates. I don't really need this, but I'll hold on to it in case I get a recipe or something that makes it useful. 
Uh, stones and clay. Yeah, we'll keep those. Why not? Yeah, sounds good. And I'll buy a shovel too while I'm here. And maybe that gnome. So, shovel. Yep. Uh, oh, I'll take off this wetsuit before I forget. That's yeah, so just like a little um, clothing manager here. Take that off. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't sell the um, the Monty Shrimp, but that's okay. I kind of want to keep it. Uh, it could be a good thing to keep in the in the old house. So yeah, uh, sell these. Apples aren't worth a huge amount because they grow natively on the island. Uh, peaches are though. Yeah. Hey, Sismic XD. Cheers for the follow, dude. Hope you're. Uh, hope you're having a good day. We're just. Um, we're playing some Animal Crossing today for a change. Usually play a different game on a Saturday. Island's very much in its um, early stages. I've only had the game a couple of weeks, so it's nowhere near the uh, the top level islands and designs and stuff like that. But it's. Uh, it's, it's chill. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I don't know if uh, if you have the game as well. It's it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it, like I say. Uh, so we're gonna put down this garden gnome and mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp I'll probably put in the bathroom in the house just to brighten it up a little bit since it's not really being used a huge amount. You have it. Nice, nice. Hey, Debbie. Good to see you. So, yeah. Uh, do I have the? I don't have mountain bike in my inventory. That was something I planned to put outside the house. I'll make sure to take that out too. Yeah, I'm gonna pop back here and stick the uh, the mantis shrimp in beside the toilet. Something nice to look at, you know. Maybe over here or something. Yeah. Uh, there she is. Uh, this one. Place. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, put that in storage. Stick that in storage. That. That. And one of these. Cool. Uh, so we're going to put the garden gnome in the garden. And we're going to also take out the bike that we put in storage. Uh, which should be somewhere. Blind. Did I sell it or something? That's weird. Maybe I sold it by mistake. Ah, uh, that's no worries. Uh, we'll just stick the uh, the garden gnome at the front. Cool orange tulips after appearing too, that's nice.
Hey, Paisley. Hey, sis. Sure, I can. I can drop by your island. I uh, I haven't done any of the multiplayer on this, so uh, like figuring out how to do it is a different uh, a different story. I miss the days of breeding flowers. Yeah, I haven't looked up a, a proper guide for it. I know the loosely that like you tend to start with the three basic color combinations, and when you put them beside each other, you can uh, breed them quite uh, naturally. Um, I played a bunch of Littlewood, which had very similar, I think, flower mechanics. Seem to have a little screen tearing? Yeah, I'll check it out, Davey. Thanks for the, the heads up. It's, uh, it's a new capture card, so I'm still figuring out uh, the best settings for it. Uh, starts at the airport? Yeah, we can go to the airport. Sure. Whoops. Wreck those flowers. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, I figure you just talk to this person and he's like, I want to fly. Uh, Harv's Island is like this weird photographer dude um, who lets you use his space for like photo shoots and stuff. It's a bit, it's a bit creepy. Nice one, sis. Yeah, we'll, we'll drop by. Why not? Why not? Uh, we checked out a, a dream island earlier um, just to put to shame the current status of my own <laughs> and to put it in perspective of what players are actively doing. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I guess these are the dodo codes, right? 008K6. For a hollow nest. Yeah, let's go. Why not? Let's do it. Good old dodos. All right, we're going. Ba, ba, ba. I don't know if you're playing this much, sis. Uh, I'm assuming Debbie's played this a ton, right? <laughs> if you're saying that it's um, simpler times, breeding all the flowers and stuff. I'll check this out. <laughs> I got about 650 hours, just like casual low key, you know, I don't play it that much. This isn't you, sis? What? Who is it? It's the code you gave me, right? I have friends who have 2,000 hours. What? Say what? 2,000 hours is a lot. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I... No, Played since release, but you quit for about 10 months. Ah, uh, yeah, there's sis. Nice. Uh... This is the biggest problem I have with the uh, the stuff, like having to use that as input. I think you can use your phone too with like the companion app. This is pretty cool. Look at this. So you come straight in from the airport. You got some nice plants and flowers. You got the uh, the visitor station here. All right. You got these cool little trees going on. Who's this? You got bones chilling out.
A couple of the uh, villagers' homes. Very cool looking. You can see the mini map. It's quite nicely developed. <gasps> That's cool. A little ice sculpture going on. It's nice. A little disco. It's like Rainbow Road type pack going on here. That's cool. Nice little housing section going on. Like a big Godzilla ring here. That's cool. What's going on? It's like some landscaping over here. A couple of arcade cabinets. Nice, nice. It's like a nice little amusement section. It's pretty chill. Uh, let's go up over here. It's a lot of roses going on. Uh, <laughs> what's going on here, dude? That's a that's a lot of roses. <laughs> I, I guess. Ah, uh, rain and flowers. I get. I get you. I get you. Yeah, they only seem to grow if you water them, right? <laughs> I mean, this doesn't seem like a bad problem. Like you could probably like harvest these up, right? Um, and then sell them. No pass. Interesting. This is like the secret room. Oh, it's pretty chill. Same bed as me. What's behind the bed? Ah, oh, it's a little, uh, little stand for the clothes. It's cool. It's cool. <gasps> Snakey boy. Or a little eel. That thing is cool. I like it. Uh, okay, I guess we'll check out this room. I mean, this one wasn't blocked off, right? <laughs> Pog, what is this? That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Nice. Pog champ. Love it. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty good. I guess you must be able to import JPEGs through the browser or something, right? Because that would be a nightmare to do from scratch in game, surely. Surely. Ah, oh, nice little Minecraft room in here, right? It's like the Minecraft grass and like the blue sky. I, uh, I need to get a picture in this room <laughs> so I don't forget it. Holy crap. You're just like, oh yeah, that, that, that's a nice main room. Uh, let's just go in. Oh. Oh. Uh. Sure. Pog. All right, we'll head out. We'll head outside the house. Oh, there's a upstairs and downstairs. Hang on, I'm not. I'm not used to that just because my own um, my own house only currently has one room. I guess going up is probably safer than going down first. God knows what's in the basement if like you're leaving the pog room on the main floor. Like the amount of bells you probably have to give to Nook to get all these expansions is a lot. Oh my eyes. This hurts my eyes. Wow. That's cool though, in that nice little ward room. Oh my eyes. Alright, what's down here? Oh shit! 
There he is, the main man himself, Mr. Sismic. This room is terrifying. <laughs> what is going on in here? Who is this? <laughs> nothing, nothing strange in here. No, this is fine. Uh... Oh, it's blood from sacrifices. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, well, that explains it. That definitely explains it. <laughs> yeah, cool. That, that that's one word for it. I'm a I'm a I'm a gonna step outside of this room when I still can. <laughs> that is like the stuff of nightmares, right? Okay. We won't ask what's in the uh, no trespassing room because if if that's the one room that's hidden, I'm very scared. And you got like the blood path here too, right? This, uh, yeah, it's pretty scary. Uh, I don't want to trample those roses or anything. But, uh, you got like the construction zone back here. You got like all the Mario effects and stuff. It's pretty cool. Ah, the you know, old DJ set up here. That's pretty cool. I can dig it. Are these like um like custom art sets, I guess? For that you can like stick on front of the uh these things. That's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of like plants and stuff back here, a couple of blue ones, I think. I think I heard that the blue ones are like the hardest plants to make or something. Uh, what's going on? A couple waterfalls and like there's some branches and stuff. Custom design? Nice. Nice. There's some stuff happening up there. That's cool. A giant satellite dish. Just pretty casual. There's a fossil over here too. Nice little disco, uh, disco setup. It's pretty chill. Yeah, it's a good item, dude. Fair play. Love the uh, the sands thing here too. I think I was over here. Do I get squished by this guy? Ah, oh, no. It just uh, it triggers him. Yeah, there's the shop and the beach, of course. Come, all right. Uh, see, I can use this, right? Oh, you. Oh, that's a cool little Asian his. Uh, the style. Uh, I'm assuming he's over here, right? It would be nice if they gave you like a uh, arrow. There's Michelangelo in all his glory. Uh, in the villager house. In this one? Oh, is this the Lord and Savior? Is, is that what's going on? This is uh this is like the cult leader himself, I guess. Hmm. 
Nothing suspicious in here. Okay, Roald. Was uh was was nice seeing you. Please don't come after me and my family, thanks. <laughs> Pretty please. That's cool. Who's in uh who's in this one? Oh, this is much better. What is this? <laughs> the fuck? Oh wow, it's uh isn't this guy's like straight up Mario? Or uh, Zelda? Okay. I mean, judging by the outside of the house, I did not expect to see this. That's pretty cool. Little alien dudes, why not? That uh checks out. Giant stag beetle. Jeez, they're so big. Well, that's a cool uh, that's a cool one there. So like, I take it like if you like leave your island and just don't look after it and it like keeps raining while you're away, like all the plants and stuff just get out of control, right? <gasps> Who's this Benedict? That's cool. And there's Gulliver washed up on the island. Hey, Nightcrawler. Cheers, dude. We're just uh, we're just chilling, hanging out. He does look like Ronald McDonald. You're not wrong. <laughs> He's rocking the uh, basement clown. That checks out. Green corn master, bruh. What's up, Sismic? <laughs> Low key ruining the villagers. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. That's a cool island you got here, sis. Uh, Debbie, if you have like a like two hundred hour like island, like. I don't suppose you fancy like hopping on and like I can go have a look at it. I'm kind of curious of just how crazy this stuff gets. You're scared by a certain artwork I've seen about octopus villagers? Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's some rule 34 stuff, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, that's that's crazy. A message in a bottle up here if you need a, a recipe. This stuff's cool, like the little lighthouse. I think you can get this from the uh, the Nook ATM, right? Some cool jewelry. It's got nothing to do with tentacles. That's impressive. Uh, I'm gonna borrow one of these pears if that's cool. I don't have pears yet. Yeah, I can plant one. The peacock's pretty cool. Like, this is like a cool little Vegas type setup. Reminds me like there's a um, what you call it? There's a uh, a cafe in Tokyo like that does the robot. There's a, like a robot cafe in Tokyo, or in, is it Akihabara? I think it's in Akihabara, right? Uh, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I'll give you some apples, dude, if you want some. I, I don't know if you need them.
uh, go around the flowers. Here. Uh... Do wish they had like yeah like a little arrow to show you where the other people on your island are just in like the edges of the screens or something just so it's a little bit more clear here in here i guess i will try in here if not he's probably lower down okay i guess he's lower down over here ah oh, here he is he's enjoying uh staring at michael that's fine Yeah, enjoy, dude. What is happening here? Sucker. Yeah, that's me. That's pretty cool. A bunch of snacks. A little mixer back here. It's probably like cafe setup. Nice. One of those Octo guys. I've never seen them before. They, uh, I mean, I've seen them in different games, not in Animal Crossing, like, um, like from Zelda or whatever. Oh wow, it's like, the, this is, this is more my speed. This is like the software engineer room. Sandy beach flooring? That's pretty sick. And like the CPU wallpaper too. Uh, talk to him for something. Hey ya! Cool. Sure. Awesome. Cheers, dude. It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy to do too. Like I figured that I wasn't sure how um, Nintendo would handle a bunch of the multiplayer online stuff, but it's pretty seamless. Like if you just have a code and you're able to go that quickly, it's pretty nice. Oh, don't trample the flowers. So many flowers. Uh, is he in here? Hey, crawler. Yeah, we could um, could we do it next Saturday if you want? You see, I tend to, to rotate games on a Saturday. Oh, he's not in here. 
Um, I tend to ro game, rotate games on a Saturday just to play something different uh, or on a Wednesday. Wednesday, I usually just kind of focus on RTS stuff though, like uh, Red Alert. Uh, where's this dude? Oops. Uh, P. P? Ah, he's here. Cool. Yeah, the, the Master Chief Collection is pretty good. I originally played it on um, Xbox, but I ended up picking it up on PC last Christmas, I think. And I transferred over a load of my achievements. Oh, a little birthday! Happy birthday! Is it his birthday? He can probably like respond to this by the time I've actually sent this. Oh, Judy's. Ah, okay. That's cool. I didn't know they uh they gave you birthdays for the villagers. I know that for your own birthday they give you like uh, a couple of cupcakes and stuff. Also, pretty sure this person's like a rare villager, right? Uh, yeah, I I bought you a present. Here's an apple. Happy birthday. Damn right I can't say no to the police cap. I feel like one of us got a better deal here. What's up, Marshall? <laughs> Nothing better than trashing a stranger's thing. Hey, Darius is going, dude. Yeah, we're chilling out on Danland today. Uh, playing some Animal Crossing on the Switch. Different. Uh, usually during the week, like on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm playing uh, CNC, and on Wednesday it's probably Red Alert, and then Saturday I usually do something different. Uh, so we're hanging out Animal Crossing. Uh, this dude, uh, Sismic, joined us on stream. Uh, was kind enough to invite us to his island and check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, minus the like blood curdled basement he's got going on, but you know, nobody's perfect. You win some, you lose some, right? But uh, yeah, I hope everyone's uh, weekend's going well. Thanks for dropping by, guys. It's a cool outfit too, like the uh, the fedora suit ensemble. All right. All right, we'll pop back in. I don't know. Uh, for the multiplayer Nightcrawler, I don't remember which games or what setups for it. Uh, I, I guess I can slip in here, right? This is the top secret stuff I'm not supposed to see. Oh, cool. Wow, that pagoda is badass. Wait, what? What? Oh, damn. That is cool. Do you just have to have like two pipes and like it will connect you to two different areas of the island?
That's cool. That's cool little artworks on the ground here. That's how pipes work. Nice. So you can just like get two of them and uh, link different parts of your island. That's good to know. That could be useful. Oh wait, what? Am I like stuck here? Or are you like moving the other pipe? Uh. <laughs> yeah, okay, that checks out. We're back to, uh, you know, the shrine. We need to pay our respects. I can, I can appreciate that. I mean, this is the closest I can get to praying, and it's the most unsettling place. I'm going to be killed, am I? <laughs> this is where I like turn around slowly and see that rolls actually behind me in real life. Guys, I I, I think I'm in a cult. Help. <laughs> Help. It's too late for me. Save yourselves. <laughs> awesome. That's pretty cool. Thanks for uh <laughs> thanks for showing us that, sis. That's uh it was good fun. It's cool to see the uh the different islands of villagers for sure. It's like so nice and comforting to be back. <laughs> back and safe. Yeah, sure, Debbie. Why not? If you can throw your um dodo code in the, in the chat or PM me or whatever is is good for you. You were saying you have like two hundred plus hours, right? So uh yours is gonna be the standard to beat. But uh that was awesome, sis. Thanks. Thanks for showing us that. You'll whisper it? Yeah, perfect. Um Cool. I'll I'll take the uh, the thing off stream as well when I enter it. Sweet, you know, sandy beach flooring and uh, a pear, which means I can start like a little um, pear orchard, which is cool. You got some things laying around, so prefer not more than one. Yeah, no, that, that's totally cool. That's totally cool, dude. Uh, don't worry, I can stick on uh, the BRB screen while connecting to it.
Yeah, no worries. Take your time, dude. Take your time. Dude, do that. It's all good. In a here in like Ireland, dude, guy and stuff is kind of used neutrally. So don't take offense if I call you guy or dude or anything like that. Please, it's not intended. But yeah, we're uh, we're loading up on some uh, some drinks. Do do do. Do 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 do. Yeah, happy uh, happy Saturday, everyone. I hope it's uh, it's going well. Hope you're all chilled out, relaxed from the long work week. You have two houses. Two are still a work in progress. Four houses. Damn. That checks out, sis. I've been soulless for a long time. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad Roald could uh, could take it. He he seemed deserving. He seemed deserving. That's. Great, Debbie. Thanks. Uh, sticking it in now. Six. It would help if I don't say it out loud while I'm putting you in, right? Must resist temptation. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Cool. Let's go. Let's go check out some of the. Would two hundred hours be like the the mid game or the end game, right? Like you were saying, you had friends with like a thousand plus hours, which is crazy. But I'm assuming like the point you're at is pretty much like you've you've maxed out all the basic recipes and finished the museum stuff, and it's just a matter of um. Messenger. Oh, the time travel stuff. That's a good point. Because uh, there's only certain things at certain times of the year, right? That's a good point. I don't think I'd be bothered doing that. You'd say around 400 is where you get everything you need. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd say you hit the 400 point, then you spend the next 100 hours like just perfectly landscaping a garden, and at that point you have to like pre-plan everything, which is which is cool. Oh, check this out. Welcome to Nico Heaven. Haven? Haven, right? Nico Haven. Damn, this is cool. This is like the grid based uh, OCD, like just being so satisfied right now. Oh, little bow! A cute little bow. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! We made it! Oh, look at this! They got the cool moons! Oh, your little playground! It's adorable! They bounce around. You got the paintings. Are we getting like the grand tour? You got the cool, chill beach. Little sand castles. It's cool. They have little snowdrops, I guess. That's what they look like. The cool little manhole covers. Got a little workbench going on. Oh, wow. What is this? You got the cool statues welcoming you in here. Look at how nicely laid out this is. You got like all the blue roses, the yellow roses. Wow. That's cool.
Oh, these are the two of your houses that you finished, right? You said you had four houses? I didn't know that you could um, have more than one of your own houses. Blue house is your girlfriend, still a work in progress. Okay, okay, cool. Wow. Wow, this is cool. Nice base. Can approve. Very cool. Uh, I think she went in here, right? Oh, there's like the streamer setup. Like the humidifier. You got the safe going on where all the money. Wow, that's really cool. It's like I'm in the office right now. Wow. She's an elementary teacher. She wanted the room to reflect that. Yeah, no kidding. I think you nailed it, dude. I used to be a teacher and I can, I can relate to that room. So that's really cool. What we got up here. Wow, it's like the master bedroom and you got like the walk-in wardrobe going on. It's very cool. I like the uh, the room dividers are cool. It's a good it's a good way to do it. And you got like the fancy um bed setup with like the little walkthrough thing, I forget what they're called. Uh, like little archways. Very cool. Mona Lisa just casually like just flexing on the wall, you know. That's cool. Nice. For a work in progress, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> I mean, compared to my own island. It's uh, hella impressive. Like the uh, the welcome garlands on these doors too. Pink is yours, fully complete. All right, let's let's see let's see what you got going. Oh, piano, love it already. This is cool. Oh, this is such a good job with um like splitting the room up into different sections. You got the emergency door exit too. You got like the music and like the standard kind of hallway set up here. So it's like you come in, you can go to the left, you can go to the right, welcome in with the piano. You got the cool, like just, just kind of chilling on the sofa area. Get some tea. Oh, and you got like a, um, like a Sakura bonsai. I didn't even know that was a thing. I see you. That's pretty cool. I like it. Trying to make like the different corners of a room their own element is kind of tricky in this, it seems. But the the room spacers and stuff is a cool way to do it. Oh, this is this is this is <laughs> perfectly normal. This is like a little workshop, right? You have like Newton's cradle down there. That's cool. That's a lot of outfits. Holy crap! A little stained glass corgi. It's cute. And this this is like very cool. Uh, like a nice little like uh, tapestry type setup, I guess. That's so many outfits. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. And I love the CCTV camera too, right? You don't want anyone stealing from your workshop. Better safe than sorry. Nice. Are we going to the left? They're all custom, like you design them in game. What? That's amazing. Holy crap, you put so much effort into this. Wow, I love that table. That's a really cool, like authentic looking piece of wood, right? And you got all your trophies in the wall, you got the cuckoo clock, you got the fridge, you got the kitchen layout, you got the little cake in the corner. Damn. 
Love it. Like the, the wooden stone effect too is very cool. Ah, it looks so good. This must have taken forever, right? Like at some point you have to pre-plan like the layout of your home and stuff. Uh, guessing you're in the other room? Ah, here we have like the bathroom utility room set up. We go over here, you know, use the use the toilet. Can't see anything on the other side. It's nice. You got the litter tray. <laughs> Is that for like the the feline uh, villager guests that come in? <laughs> That's cute. Colors are nice as well. And the shower. Does the shower work? I don't think I've actually seen a shower. Uh, you got the weighing scales. Of course, the vanity mirror setup. And check yourself out. That's cool. Uh, there we go. That's really cool. I, I guess you need to do like, custom, I know you can customize colors for items, but it must have taken a while to like find the right items that could take the right colors. What have we got upstairs? Wow, a lot of trading, yeah, I bet. You got the PC set up, you got like the master bedroom going on. You got like a nice little chill area with the sofa and the little cat set up. Oh, little doggo. This is so cute. It's like adorable. The little diffuser. Wow. Like it just it's so impressively done. It's like an interior decorator's uh dream. And even look at the back of the PC case. Like the details in this, you can see the USB ports, you can see the audio input output, the Ethernet jack and the power supply. Like, wow, they, they've done a lot. And you can kind of see with this game, right? How you can go from like, just enjoying the basic flow of it to after your 200 hours of like collecting stuff and just trading and getting all the gear and equipment you want. This is, this is crazy. Oh, holy crap. Wow. The uh, <laughs> the weed manga dungeon, love it, absolutely perfect, nailed it. The uh, the library wallpaper is a real nice touch. <laughs> weave, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> the weave manga dungeon, that's really cool. This is where you can get your uh, your full manga experience on. I actually need to watch My Hero Academia later. It just reminded me. This is really cool. Fair play to actually putting this all together. That's incredible. God, it must have taken so long to do all of this. Like, cause the like even like if you have the items, that's only half the battle. Like the interface for moving stuff and things is, is kind of janky. <laughs> hey, loser! We have found like the most incredible. Uh, Villager. So this person, Devi, she is like, she, he, whoever, uh, they have uh, like 200 plus hours in the game and just checking out their village and like, holy crap, <laughs> like, look at this. It's so good. I uh, I hope the contract work went well for you, Blizzer. Nice flowers going on. Like, they got these cool arches where you can just like work your way up here, admire all the, the mermaid shell stuff. I have recipes for one or two of these shell items now. You got the blue roses. You need to come up and around. I love the pagoda building things. They're really cool. A nice like cherry blossom just positioned perfectly. 
Oh, those are cool little bamboo things. I have a couple. I have a recipe for the, just the water one, but uh, that's really cool. Ah, oh, there she is. Wow, a little Statue of Liberty low-key just chilling out over the edge. Wow. A little Pikachu, Matt. That must be custom, right? There's no way that's that's in the game, right? <laughs> all the Easter equipment. I hated the look of all the um the Easter stuff when it came out. And like the first I think I only got the game like the week before Easter, so I'd spent so much time trying to hunt down the eggs and make the stuff. So this is the third house they have. Oh, wow. That is a hell of an effect. Oh, blathers with sparkly eyes in the walls, because why not? The little moonlight. These lights are really cool. I'm guessing you need, like, um, stars and stuff to make these. But, uh, wow. That's very cool. That looks... That, that's a pretty solid work in progress. Loads of stars. Yeah, I've yet to find any. Um, I had Bladder's girlfriend on the island at one point, and I was talking to her, and she's like, hey, look at the stars, and I saw one, but um, I didn't find the, the star the next morning. I think they're supposed to show up the next day on the beach or something. Those uh, statues are cool, too, with like the butterflies and stuff. This is uh, a lot of mushrooms going on up here. I'm sensing a sensing a theme. This house is complete too, as of yesterday. Okay, this is the the recent work. Oh wow! Like, look at the detail. It reminds me a lot of the um, like the aquarium when you go in and you have like the running water sound effect like just the rustling noises and you got the, like the right colors like the, the nice blue wallpaper with like the tree effect on it that's a cool wallpaper ground as well it's got the nice grass and the, like the plant patterns and you have like these like little um, leaf clumps and the different colored um lights as well so they're not just all yellow you got the green ones going on you've got like these blue light lanterns and the green one in the corner little mushrooms that glow wow this is really cool like it's, it's kind of the great thing with this game like you can just like literally get lost like enjoying the scenery oh It's cool. Even the pink lights there in the back as well. It's nice. Yeah, like there's so much variation. Yeah, there's you're you're not kidding. Like it's pretty amazing. Is it is it 6.46 a.m. in your local time? Oh yeah, sure, sure. I'll check out the other rooms in here. I like don't want to like run off and accidentally like grab stuff or whatever, but yeah. Now, nah, ah, you're time traveling. Okay, that makes sense. That's cool. There's a nice running water faucet. I have one of those, but I have it outside, I think. A couple more bonsais going on. Got the gnomes. Like a nice little indoor garden. I like the uh, up there in like the top right. It's like the hanging terrarium type thing. It's pretty chill. Little side step to get through here is cool. Oh, 
All right, we got a little, little chill area. You got the humidifier, the color. You have to customize those too, right? Or do you have to trade to get the right color? Because that's going to be... Let's say it's annoying if you have it and it's like the wrong color. And you're like, uh, I don't want to have to deal with changing this. Ooh, cool. Nice chill music. Nice butterfly. You got the nice star net going on here. It's very cool. The cork board in the background is nice as well. And the actual bookshelf. That's a bookshelf. It adds some nice depth. I'd say that looks nice with um, the library wallpaper too. Like it gives it some depth and contrast. What's on this wall? Yeah, you got the nice clock too and the painting. I always find those paintings very uh, uncanny when I see them in this game. But it actually looks quite nice here. The Asian writing. It's pretty cool. Like the fact that you have four of these houses in this much detail is kind of crazy to me. Like I can kind of understand if it's like just one house and it looks really good. But having four houses and having the outside area like properly landscaped and knowing exactly where everything is is crazy. Like the red room is a little low effort to be fair. This? I mean that bed is pretty damn cool to be fair. This looks like the kind of uh, room that you would make as like a, um, what do you call it? Like a surprise thing for like the girlfriend on Valentine's Day. You're like, oh, hey, come, come check out this new room I made in Animal Crossing. And she comes in and like uh, the first thing she sees is like this big red rose bed and then the red rose in front of it. And then like all the stuff going on around it. Uh, it's very Snow White, uh, Snow White, Snow White and like the seven dwarves with the dudes around. Uh, and the animated wallpaper is really cool. Like they do some interesting stuff with like the blurred background in the wallpaper too. So it's really cool. I like the bedroom the most of this house. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. You spent three days on it, including designing it. I imagine, like, to make this stuff, right? You have to start out with, like, the design part. This is not the bedroom? What? A <laughs> oh, bedroom is upstairs, probably, right? And you just keep coming back to this. This is such a nice room. Uh... Am I am I blind? Did I did I skip the bedroom? Was it this one? I thought it was upstairs, but I, I didn't see a, a staircase. Uh, I guess I probably have to step outside first before it becomes visible. Because of the oh, because of the lighting in the room, that's what it is. And I'm wearing sunglasses. I couldn't actually see it. It looked like there was just a door in and door out. Um. Oh, here we go. Ah, the light is off. Okay, I'm not totally blind then. <laughs> the room's lit by furniture only. Uh, okay, okay, I can see that. There is a lot of leaves going on in here. This is pretty chill. You got another one of the nice like tree wallpapers. Uh, the leaf flooring with the uh, these little clumps of leaves too. It's pretty cool. You got the nice bed with like is that a bear pattern on it? It's pretty sweet. You have the bonsai trees going on. You have the cozy cushions to sit on. I'm guessing that's another custom dress design, right? So like how do the custom dress designs work? I guess you just have to upload the uh the image. 
similar to how uh, it used to work in The Sims back, back way back when. It cool reads too at the illusion of um, flowers being on the actual trees too. Ah, uh, that dress is in game. Okay, that makes sense. Sure, sure. That's cool, and you got the heart going on here too. This is a very cool vibe in here. It's got the the music it makes it a bit uh, October festy, but that's cool. Oh, and you painted the. Uh, I didn't think about that. You painted the bamboo bookshelf uh, brown. What I ended up doing was I had the bamboo bookshelf, and I ended up just painting the mirror and stuff green to match it. Would have made more sense to go the other way, I guess. That's cool. And there's, I'm guessing it's it's that thing there in front of the mushroom that's making the noise, right? Or it's probably a radio in here that I'm missing. It's very cool. Let's check it downstairs. Uh, hoping that you don't have another, um, you know, dungeon <laughs> full of uh, creepy, creepy villager worship materials. Oh, check this out. This is, uh, like, <laughs> uh, what's the best way to phrase it? It's like, um, I guess Weebish is one way to put it, but like, it's kind of like a, a baby girl's like favorite kind of room, right? Like you got all the pink stuff, you got the giant stuffies, you got all these comfy couches, you got the, the pink everywhere. You got the, the flamingos, a nice touch in here. I never would have even thought of using that indoors. You got one of those cool tapestry things. The uh, the mushroom lights are nice. The cherry blossom, uh, cherry blossom tiles in the ground, uh, and then you have the, these leaf piles and these like miniature, these like mini lights that you can actually walk through too. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I got a bit of impression that might be the case, Debbie. <laughs> Pacifier might have given it a little bit away, but uh, yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. I like the uh, the hanging thing from the, these. Like, are these seats? Oh, they are seats. That's really cool. Uh, it would be nice if this like let you turn ninety degrees and then like you can just sit back. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. A really good job holy crap like, i don't know what i expected like you said you had 200 plus hours in this but like this is this is crazy good i'm just like jamming out right now oh 600 plus oh excuse me <laughs> sorry 600 plus i need to uh, adjust my expectations accordingly right even the reindeer light in the corner is pretty cool man Dig it. It's a great job. Holy crap. Thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks for showing it. It's crazy. Oh, this is cool. The different colors, like even like the plants match the colors of the lights, which is deliberate. Uh, you can tell that's really cool. Mini Stonehenge thing going on. These are some more. These are probably are these customs. Like I've literally never put any of my clothing out on display, so it's impossible for me to tell the difference. But uh, they look really cool. A nice little stage. Ah, you got cello. Nice. 
That's cool. The saxophone. He got little wings on as well. Nice. Just noticed those. A climbing wall, a little fitness area. Got a nice little pond going on. Oh god, hey AOD. <laughs> Good to see you, dude. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know you were streaming. Hope it uh, hope it went well. What were you playing? We're just uh, with Debbie here checking out her island. She's got like 600 plus hours in this game. And it's just making me feel uh, <laughs> a little bit intimidated slash like, oh god, I've got a long way to go with this game. I've like, I don't know, maybe 15 hours or something on the game at the moment. But uh, this is incredible. Like seeing just what you can do with this. Holy crap. You got the blue roses too. The pink and white ones. Like a proper beach setup for like the tea party. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'll go this way. Playing General's Evolution mod. And streamed. Oh, the Meds and Xeno. I didn't know that they were playing today. I'll, uh, I'll have to check out your VOD for them. Very cool. Yeah, the map layout is pretty crazy. Like, if you look at the bottom right of the screen, you can see the full-on map layout of this place. Like, how did you go about designing it? Like, would you have had to um, literally open up, like, a, a paint grid uh, X by X uh, and see it? You can view it larger on the phone. Oh, on this? Good point. I have actually never used this. Uh... Ah, it's crazy. So, like, you have, like, the proper neighborhood down here on the bottom left. Uh, and the bottom right all the key structures. The center is, like, the campsite. And then there's some uh, nice graphical elements in the top right and top left. You can tell you love cats. <laughs> cats and Judy. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, that's, that is a lot of cats, to be fair. But uh, nailed it. And the, the dream address is there too, I guess, if people want to um, dream and check out the, the island. Uh, I might check it out sometime. I'll take a, a screenshot to remember it. To remember it by. <laughs> so sad. Uh, this is awesome. I, like, I, it's just, it's so much effort to, to do this stuff through the, uh, the Switch UI. Uh, it's kind of incredible that you managed it. Uh, I think it, it lives up to the Nico Haven uh, namesake. You'll update it when the other 23 homes are complete? Nice. Uh, if you do complete them, feel free to uh, send me a PM. I'd love to check it out again. Because, I mean, they already looked pretty incredible. Um, I'd be amazed to see what else can actually be done to them. I'm guessing this is just standard stuff. Yay. Awesome. Hey, there's one of the villagers. Sup, cat? Good see. That's awesome. Thanks for uh, thanks for showing us that day. That was that was that was really cool. Uh, can I like be cheeky and like ask for some of these fruits, like just one of each, so I can like start small <laughs> and like work myself up as a lowly farmer oh awesome yeah i guess at a certain point you really don't need them do you <gasps> there's gold roses too awesome I'll take them all ah oh, no i won't take them all i'll just take um like one set of each i don't have Uh, don't touch the pumpkins. What's what's the story with the pumpkins? Are you like using them as crafting ingredients? So I got a bunch of pumpkins growing on my 
my farm at the moment, but they're uh, early stages. That's awesome. That's cool. So now you can grow cherries, uh, oranges, and pears, and like expand the orchard. United their three and one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah, does that happen over time, or is it like a, a random thing? Um, the gold roses are super cool as well. And these like boxes full of fruit. It's crazy. It's so good. And like, even the wall, even like the grid structure of this, it's just like you get lost in here. Like, look at this. <laughs> it's crazy. Daily watering. Nice, nice. That's cool. Even the flag. Look at this. Look at this. It's amazing. Is let me guess. Is like your island team based on like an anime or something? I bet it is, right? Even the hopscotch going on. And of course, the pink tulips, pink flowers. Your girlfriend's sister is an artist. She does a lot of anime stuff. Very cool. So, yeah, it's, it's impressive. 